so this is just going to be a really quick video that's going to show you how you can get your library card through sequoiaregionallibraries.org. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do to get your library card is you're going to go to sequoiaregionallibrary.org and you're going to enter that here in the address bar. When you enter it in the address bar, you're going to scroll all the way down on the page and you're going to look for this button that says get your library card. When you click on that button, it's going to bring you to this form. Now, one important thing to know about this form is that if you don't click I agree to the library's terms and conditions, it's not going to allow you to fill it out. If you want to read those, you can simply highlight and click them right here. But once you have actually clicked that box, it's going to open up all of these boxes for you to enter your information. Now, on the form, you have to enter in all of the information with an asterisk beside it is required. So first name, last name, birthday, um, your email address, phone number, those are all things that are required that you enter before you can get your library card. It's important that your email address and your phone number are correct because that is the way that the library will contact you about upcoming events or maybe information about your account, a book that's overdue or a hold that you have that's come in. You also want to make sure you select your carrier. That just ensures that if we send you a text message, it's going to go the right route and get to the right phone at the right time. You're going to enter your address, your zip code, and your home location. The home location is simply the library branch that you frequent most often. I'm going to select Woodstock, but you could select anything from Ball Ground, R.T. Jones, Gilmer, Hickory Flat, Rose Creek, or even Pickens. So you're going to select your home location. Now, the last thing is probably the most important thing about filling your library application online. You need to select your four-digit PIN number. So you need to select four numbers that you're going to remember and enter them twice once and then confirming them in the second box. Once you have entered these pin number, this PIN number in, you need to make sure you write it down because it is going to be your access into all of the online materials that Sequoia Regional Library System offers. If at any time you forget it, you can always go back to the home website and to the Contact Us page, message us, and we can help you get it reset. We can't tell you what it was, but we can help you choose a new one. Once you've done all of that and filled out all of the pertinent information, you're going to click register. Now, once you click register, it's going to give you this right here, a temporary library code. This library code, it's good for the next 90 days. So for the next 90 days, you can use this library cord number along with all of your other information to log on with your PIN number online to access all of our online materials. I hope this helps. Enjoy. Happy reading.